So it's been a few months since I last did a video like this, a serious video, one that's like not actually haha. -ha. I mean, there's hopefully gonna be some haha -ha funny parts, but like the Get Personal series for the last five, six, seven years has existed because sometimes I want to vent about shit that I'm either passionate about or I'm pissed off about or whatever. And regretfully, you know, in the last four months, it has not been, there's not been a lot of things to be happy about. Um, and in many cases, especially for the, you know, the reason I'm making this video, um, I'm, I don't want to be passionate about this. Um, to, to lay it out there, I am hoping to make this video with the explicit uh, uh, result of maybe somebody or someone in the same position that I'm in uh, feels a little bit of comfort because uh, if I'm going to be honest, my shit all fucked up. And and that's like the scientific term is my shit is all fucked up. And um, it's uh, it's been quite a doozy to try and figure this out. I, and like, I don't want to rehash the same idea that quarantine is, is tough and without it, I'd be better because that's true. That's literally true. Um, but I, I wanted to go through some of the things because it tr like I I hate I always struggle to use the word um, depression or or I guess like I hate using it. Why? Because I'm not clinically diagnosed and I don't think for the vast majority of the times that I feel like shit. Um, it even comes close to what depression may be. However, I, I do want to I do kind of like hold myself short and be like, oh, I'm in a funk. I mean, it's been a three month long funk here. And a lot of it comes down to the ways that not only quarantine has affected just how I behave in general, but also um, like all the ways that I used to deal with just feeling out of it or feeling like shit are gone. Um, and, and I've been put into positions, you know, just, just by the amount of time that I'm spending at home that straight up just aren't healthy for me. And I've, I've had to come to the realization that I have some like really self-destructive habits that are just not something that I'm going to just suddenly not do right like i'm i'm really in trouble with myself because i've never really felt as shitty as i have in the past so i'm always i'm always a schedule based guy right like i i thrive on scheduling not so much that like it's the end of the world if something doesn't go according to schedule but i really do need to know like all right i got these meetings at this time which means i have an extra hour and a half during this time block so i could edit a video and answer my emails like i need to feel like i'm actively working towards something um, and, and the biggest, most odd thing is that now that everybody's working from home or something, apparently everybody else's scheduling has just gone out the window. I mean, the amount of people that just are incapable of doing work during normal work time, which is something that I've grown to, to learn how to do at home over 10 years, because it's hard to keep yourself in a schedule when you're fucking around at home. You know, and you don't have to go into work every day. So I've been getting calls and emails from people literally at 11 o'clock at night saying like, hey, can you talk about stuff? And I'm like, w like, hello? Like, it's a Tuesday. No, I don't want to talk to you at 11 o'clock. Like, don't call me. And um, and it's just been one thing after the other that has kind of led me down to the part. Like, let's not even try and get into specifics on the last two, three weeks of what's been going on, whether it's been people that I know personally that have been, uh, you know, called out for sexual, uh, uh, in some cases, just being a creep and in bad cases, like literally rape. And it's like, I, I'm not prepared to handle this info like what do i how do i handle this info um and the last like two weeks have been pretty rough uh what i what i ended up doing about a month and a half ago when i realized like oh like think something's wrong not wrong something's different like you're really struggling to get out of funks and out and, and back into like a good mood and and it's having negative effects on like how many videos you uploaded i didn't upload a video for three days you know that's the longest break between video uploads that i've had pretty much in like the whole year, like in the last calendar year. And why? Um, I, every morning I woke up, I just felt like I'd rather do anything else but get out of bed. And I know that's like such a lame, stupid thing because people feel that all the time, but that's not who I am or how I've ever been. Um, I like, I, I, I get up at eight in, in the morning every day, sometimes 7.30, just so I can have plenty of time to like decompress, get into my morning routine, like make, make some breakfast. Like I try and be productive. Um, and it came to my attention like two months ago that I really started having this what thought, you know, these thoughts like, oh, something's not good. I mean, <laughs> like, like a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff's not good, but like, I'm not feeling good about it. So I m ended up marking days in my calendar at the end of the day. I, 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 I marked them with a, a line through them if I thought the day went well, if I was like, I enjoyed myself. Like it wasn't like a be all end all, like, oh, you didn't answer an email, your day went you like shit. No, no, it was, it was overall, how do I feel at the end of the day? Is it, was it a good day? Was it a bad day? Was it meh? 
Um, and, and it ended up over the last like two months, um, something like 60% of the days I had marked in like a negative way. Like either I didn't enjoy myself or I felt like something went wrong or something like, and that's a pretty, when I thought it would kind of help out, I was like, see, man, it's not all bad. And then I looked at it, I was like, the fucking, like half the calendar is, is not good right now, brother. What's going on? And so I started to think about it. And I'm sure there's a lot of you who are like this, but like, I live, at, I live at home. I live alone. I don't have a roommate. I don't have any roommates. I have a dog who's lovely and I love him, but I don't have any person to talk to. You know, I, I have friends who live with their significant others. Um, who are getting a little tired of spending such close proximity with each other, but overall, like, you know, they're doing their best. I have friends that live with their entire families. My family, extended family, has actually um, been quarantining in North Carolina together with, with, with each other, and they've invited me out several times. And I didn't realize that as though, although I knew I was a social person, like I knew for the longest time, and I still know that I am a social outgoing person. I thrive on the ability to go out and meet new friends and, um, and talk to people face to face and, and be in public environments, I knew that it would have a negative effect on me to not be able to do that consistently um, through quarantine and through the end of the year as we start to try and figure out how we're gonna, you know, handle <laughs> the the rest of the year. But I really was un unprepared for how bad it was gonna get for me. Um, and and like a lot of my work habits, like a lot of the ways that I would go and do shit um, just to decompress, just don't exist anymore. I mean, they don't like I, I can't go to dinner with friends. I can't go to a music show. I like we're talking about you're talking about somebody who would go out to eat at least once a week with a group of friends and oftentimes two times a week, sometimes three, sometimes one just would go out to a show, would go hang out with people, go listen to music, would go be social. I mean, it was really common. My whole schedule for streaming where I stream from one o'clock to like six. Uh, a clock is specifically built so I can end stream, eat dinner, and then go out at night. <clears throat> like, it is a well-crafted formula for me that works, and I am truly floundering without that. I mean, I love video games. I do, man. But the last thing I can do after doing all-day video game content and making con video game videos and streaming it and stuff is like, well, why don't you decompress and play more video games? Like, no, no, fucker. Like, I was already decompressing with it. Like, I can't double dip on this. I can't double down. I don't want to sit in my booth uh, another eight hours every day. Like, I need to do something. And so I realized all this stuff um, basically meant that, you know, I wasn't going to be able to do this on my own. Like, I, I wasn't. Like, I, it, And that is such a hard thing for me to admit, not just now, but in um, in general, because I like to be proud of overcoming things myself. Like I, I play solo ranked because I like the idea that my losses and my wins are largely on my own shoulders. I know that's not true, right? You have a team, but no, that's what I like to, I, I don't like it when somebody could be like, ah, well you only won because X, Y, Z. It's like, well, no, I played alone, bitch. Like I was at a disadvantage and we still pull it out. Um, and and I'm at a disadvantage right now because I'm I'm playing an unfamiliar game called how how do you get happy in a very negative environment, um and I realized that I I can't I can't do it alone, so I uh, I scheduled I got I got referred to some therapists that uh, a bunch of my friends have been using and uh, and I have my first session ever on Wednesday, which um is gonna be interesting because obviously it's not in person, um and I want to be clear like I've always been a proponent of therapy i think therapy is a great idea in principle um i think that everybody uh could benefit from it but i just never thought that the need that i would have the need to get therapy um because i was doing fucking pretty great for the last couple years you know i was i mean and in general my whole life i've been doing pretty great so um i'm struggling with the idea of like not feeling even more upset that i can't like conquer this on my own or that i can't figure out a better way to handle this um, and, and I'm especially a little apprehensive about therapy because I've never like sat down and talked this, what I'm doing right now, these videos were as close I ever did, got to therapy period ever. Like this was it. This is the, the depth that I would talk about stuff unless it was with a close friend. Um, and, and I just, it, it was kind of, um, shocking that I came to that realization if I'm honest with you. So, I mean, if you're in the same spot as me, dudes. I, I like I get I get it. I really do. It's been a fucking awful couple months, but it's been especially it's been a really fucking awful month. Like it really has. And um <clears throat> I want to let y'all know that like 
even 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 happy go lucky Tucker struggling out here, man. And and it's okay to struggle, but you know, with with everything. And I don't think it's a bad thing. Um, and and I'm just letting you know that you're not you're not sitting out here alone. I mean, you you really are not the only one going through with this. And so if you ever feel like just just going like, man, this fucking sucks, huh? Like, don't be afraid to be like, yeah, this fucking sucks. Don't be afraid. You don't even have to like deep dive into it with feelings of uh, with your friends and shit. Just oh okay God. to be like, man, this sucks. Oh, oh, you know, it. just take it at face value. God, um, I'll let you guys know how therapy goes. Out. I really, 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 really would like it to work well. Um, and I know that you get out as much as you give it. Um, and I've been mentally preparing to just fucking go for it, brothers. But it is scary. I don't know how to open up to people. I'm not really that kind of guy. I, I really don't like doing it. So, um, the only thing that's really helped me through this is the fact that I have three or four friends that have been doing therapy consistently for years. One that's just started and said he loved it. Um, yeah, if you're thinking about it, maybe now's the time to go for it. Seriously, I, 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 I'm hoping that it's the best. But look, I, I did also want to, at the bury this at the end of the video, 11 minutes in. Holy shit, it's been 11 minutes. Um, I, I'm sorry about the YouTube content. I, I really am. Uh, it gets me even more in a, in a, like a, a sad cycle when I fuck up. Um, you know how often I can get videos out for you. It makes me feel pretty worthless. Like I, I, I really need to work on. Figuring out how to balance my work life a little bit better, and and we might have to make some changes. I don't know what those are gonna be, but fuck, man, I, I can't I can't just upload two videos a week. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, thanks for listening. If you did make it out all the way out here, 12 minutes in, you rock. I appreciate you. Uh, I'll let you guys know how therapy goes, and if it goes out well, you know, I'll, I'll start promoting it. I'll, I'll I'll let the world know that it helped me out. Um, but I hope you're being as safe as possible, and you're hanging in there. You know, hang in there.